moving on to the cheesecake portion. Right now, I have three packages of softened cheesecake. I'm moving on to the fourth. Once again, I am making two rum chata cheesecakes in my Instapot. So here is the fourth packet of softened cheesecake. I mean, softened cream cheese. Obviously, I haven't had enough coffee today. started making boozy cheesecakes during Christmas but it was a hit everybody loved it okay so this is gonna go on <laughs> soften cream cheese and I soften mine on warm in the toaster oven. You could put yours in the microwave. Um, of course you have to unwrap it from aluminum foil. You could also put it in a Ziploc bag and then put it in a, a bowl of warm water. There's a couple of different methods of warming up your cream cheese for cheesecake. Next step is to put in, let's see, uh, a cup and a half of sugar. Now this is for two cheesecakes. If you're just doing one, you do three fourths a cup of sugar. We have two different Super Bowl bars to go to this weekend. So I have to make two cheesecakes. Okay, so sugar. <laughs> vanilla it's supposed to be half a teaspoon of vanilla if you're doing one I'm gonna add a full teaspoon of vanilla because I'm doing two gonna add the rum chata now for each cheesecake you could do uh, two to four tablespoons of the liquor of your choice for doing rum chata uh, if you do more than two tablespoons you got you're gonna have to add an egg yolk to hold the cheesecake together add the eggs last because over beating your eggs will cause cracking in your cheesecake. Everything nice and smooth before I get those eggs in there.
hold my paddle down so it doesn't spin. Get the batter off. Okay. Let's give this one more whirl before I add the eggs. Stay in the container. <laughs> Again. Once again, if you're not baking, not making a mess, are you cooking? If you're not making a mess. water in. Now, I love this trivet. It's easier to hold. You get this on Amazon. Also, Walmart sells them. So you're going to pour this in your Instapot. I have an eight quart. Okay. 
This is what my batter looks like right now. I'm gonna scrape the sides. Just make sure everything is incorporated better. I'm gonna make sure I get all this yummy goodness. Now, since I'm doing choose two cheesecakes, I'm putting it in for 33 minutes. If you're doing one, I suggest for a seven inch pan, doing it for 26 minutes. If you want a more dense cheesecake, you're gonna do it for 28 minutes. Now, if I wanted a more dense cheesecake, I would be putting it in for 35 minutes. Okay, just scrape. ready to get poured. Let's see which one. This one's the fat boy. So I'm going to put the fat boy because it has a lid on the bottom. So let's do that one first. Okay. Fail it almost to the top. put the lid on. It is sealed on the first one. Just gonna wipe it off. It's got some graham cracker crumbs on the top of the lid. Okay. So put it on top of the trivet inside the Instapot. One cheesecake is in, ready to go with the next one.
probably scrape like a little bit more, but I just wanted you to see it. So I didn't tilt it all the way. Let's see if I could scrape the last drop of that. So once again, this is gonna go in for 33 minutes for two cheesecakes, 35 minutes for a more dense. If you're doing one cheesecake for seven inch pans, 26 minutes or 28 minutes for a more dense cheesecake. And that's how you're gonna get rum chata cheesecake. The alcohol really burns off. It is delicious. And I like to make a homemade whipped cream and then I sprinkle a little cinnamon and sugar on top of that whipped cream. Get the last little bit off then cover with aluminum foil and then turn on my instapot and away it goes you set it and clean up your mess what's great about the instapot you do not have to do a water bath every time i've done a water bath it has leaked so I'm going to trim this down a little bit. of my first cheesecake, a little bit of juggling. I think the worst part is balancing it. is on top of the first one. And I'm gonna put the aluminum foil on top. Aluminum foil is just so you don't get those bubble dent marks. That's all. to put my lid on. Once again, I am going to put it, I'm actually gonna put it in here for 35 minutes. If I figure out which way my lid goes. Okay, that's on open, that's on close. There we go. So let's start it. It's been a little bit. Oh, same lid. Okay. Okay, 
Thanks for watching. Okay, pressure cook. Just telling me before that I had an issue with my lid. So. Okay, so hopefully this doesn't give me any more issues. Oop. Pressure cook. 35 minutes. Okay, now we're good. So pressure cook, 35 minutes start. It's been a while. Okay, now we're good. Set it. it, takes about 10 to 15 minutes to pressurize and then it's good to go. Normally a cheesecake in the oven takes about an hour and a half. So this is a lot less time. Sorry that took so long. Okay. And that's it.